A treatment for children with autism could soon be more expensive in Indiana. The CDC reports one in 36 kids across the country have autism. WRTV's Meredith Hackler tells us about the funding issue that could make it harder to access crucial therapy. Without basic communication skills, his life would not be what it is today. Marissa and JJ Grover's 19 year old son, JR, was diagnosed with autism when he was five years old. He didn't start making progress until he started applied behavioral analysis therapy, also called ABA. Before the therapy, everyday activities were a challenge for him. He sat in the chair and they gave him an MM. And he was like, wow, I, I'm going to sit here longer. I'm going to give you another MM. By the end of the week, he learned how to sit in a chair. Most patients going through ABA therapy take part in it anywhere from 30 to 35 hours a week. That therapy comes at a cost. Medicaid first began covering the service in 2016. Over the last three years, those reimbursements have increased by more than 50%. For 2022, ABA claims payments represented a Medicaid expense of $420 million. Now, the Family and Social Services Administration is looking for a way to cut costs. It's going to totally devastate the community. Um, if these rates get decreased to a wage that's not fair and equitable. It needs to be fair and equitable in order for people to stay in business. Right now, Medicaid covers 40% of whatever the provider submits to them. Now, FSSA is trying to standardize the rate to about $55 an hour. That rate is something over 40 legislators on both sides of the aisle think is too low. They sent this letter to Governor Eric Holcomb urging him to reconsider. One of those legislators that led this effort was Republican State Rep Rob Green. His son went through three years of intensive ABA therapy, which he says changed his life. Everybody in this, uh, on all sides of this issue, understand that this is something that we need to address um, to, to protect access to ABA. As for providers, that reduced rate means they could see less money coming in and patients could have fewer opportunities for access, a change that could be catastrophic for the autism community. The environments that they may be forced into are not going to be ready for them. School, other facilities that they may have to go into um, because they were, they were cut short of the services, again, that they really deserve and that they need. In Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Before FSSA submits the proposed rate to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, the State Budget Committee has to review it. That review is expected to take place by the end of October.